Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Meghnad. In this module, we'll see how do we consume a jar file that I created, that we created in the previous module. In the previous module, we have created a jar file and we are going to consume that in a new project in this module. So let's see how do we consume that. Now this is the module a project that we created and we have exported the jar file. So the jar file is here, D drive Java libraries. So we have created in module or lesson number 42. Now, uh, now in lesson number 43, we need to consume this jar file. So what I'll do now is I'll close this project because we only have jar file. So right click on this, close the project. And in case if you want to, if you forget to create a jar file, so please refer the lesson 42 that we have, that I've explained how to create a jar file. Now what we'll do here, file, new, Java project. And I'll write here project 43 and click on next and uh, I want module info click on finish now I'll add a package right click on this add new package I'll give the package name as my client package and I'll give I'll add a class name right click on this add new class I'll write here my class now in this I want to consume the jar file and I want to run the code so I'll select main method here now click on finish now I want to add the jar file that I created. So where is my jar file? My jar file is in D drive Java libraries. So let me copy the path, right click on this copy. So what I have to do here is right click on this project 43 and you have to select build path, configure build path. So I repeat once again, right click on this project 43, build path, configure build path. And you have to select here libraries and here click on select the class path here. So click on libraries and when you click on libraries, you will see this disabled. Now click on the class path here. So the moment you click on the class path here, when you click on the class path, you will see these are enabled. Now what I have to do now, I need to add external jar file. Click on this and where is my jar file? The libraries and select this make library.jar, click open. That will be added here. Click apply and close. Now, when you add a jar file, you'll, you'll, you'll see this new folder got added here in the left hand side called reference libraries. Now under the reference libraries, when you expand it, you'll see make library dot jar. So you can also expand it. You can see here the package college subjects, and you can also see here mathematics. So if you want to see what are the, and you cannot see the code inside it because it's a byte code. So you cannot see the code inside this, but you can actually consume the class. Now, how do we consume this in this project? So all you have to do is, since you have to consume this mathematics class, you have to import the package in which mathematics is there. So mathematics class is present in college students. So, so anyway, let's type it here. So I'll be writing here mathematics, obj is equal to new mathematics. Now when you're writing it, make sure that, make sure that you type the same spelling here. So I have this mathematics, I'm typing same spelling here. So now I'll move the mouse on this and it'll show me to import college subjects. So see here now it's showing import college subjects, click on this. Now, now I have actually successfully imported, added the reference of the jar file in my project and I'm importing the package college subjects.mathematics. I'm creating an object for it. And now I want to find addition of two numbers, SYSO control space, obj.add, and I'll write here five comma six. Now, now I should be able to get the output 11. So let's run the code now. Now click OK. Now we're able to successfully uh, add a jar file and write the code to consume that um, method, add method which is there in the jar file. So like this, this is the methods, this is the way that we have to follow to refer any jar file. So why we are learning this is in future you know, as a developer or a tester, you might need to import uh, some Selenium jar files or any other jar files that your friend is sharing. So it's always necessary for you to know how do we import jar files. Okay, so I hope you're clear with importing jar files and writing the code to consume the methods in jar file. So thank you and see you in the next module.